Okay, welcome to ChalkTalkAcademy.com. Football 101 here. We're talking about huddle procedure. It's one of the most basic things, but it's one of the first things you want to put in, whether you're starting your training camp or your mini camps there in late July before you head into August football time. So what we're talking about here is our offensive huddle procedure. You're going to want to train your center and your offensive lineman to hustle to the huddle and to get that thing formed. And you're, um, obviously your skill guys are going to come from a little bit of a further distance as each play breaks, but you're going to want to train them to get to one spot in the center uh, yelling out huddle. So right here you're going to see the center is going to align with his, his back to the line of scrimmage five yards from wherever the ball is placed. So right here we've got it placed in the middle. If we're on the left hash, obviously they'd be over here. But center, guards, tackles are going to be standing in the huddle. The skill guys will be in front of those guys. Typically you're going to put your wide receivers on the outside so they can – they can break the huddle and get to their spots on the perimeter uh, with your tight end, your fullback, and your tailback if you're in a two-back personnel grouping um, for your huddle in the interior of the huddle. So the linemen are standing, skill guys with their hands on their knees, and the quarterbacks in front of the huddle taking full control and command of the huddle. Everyone is quiet in the huddle. The only one that talks is going to be the quarterback, and uh, besides that, the center who's calling for the huddle. So however the quarterback is going to retrieve the play, whether he's going to run to the sideline, and come back out to the huddle, or if he's going to read it off of a wristband. Basically what you want to do is you want to teach your quarterback to take complete control of that huddle, making sure that everybody's quiet, and then he can read off the play. So you want your quarterback to, to speak to both sides of the huddle. So he'll talk to the right side first, left side second, and then that'll be followed with a ready break. So if you're going to run the power play, he'll say, I write power right on one, I write power right on one, ready break, and then they break to the line of scrimmage and you want to train those uh, offensive linemen that jog to the line of scrimmage as you do the skill guys as um, they're getting lined up in their formation. So there's a basic huddle there for you. Um, key coaching points, five yards from the line of scrimmage, center calls the huddle, the linemen are standing, skill guys are in front of them with their hands on their knees, uh, listening with full attention to the quarterback. The quarterback's the only one that's talking in the huddle. He'll say the play twice, ready break, and run to the line of scrimmage. Now we're going to take a look at another huddle, just a pro-style huddle, um, just a little bit different where, where you're going to be in a circle. Similar situation to the last one here where you're going to have your left tackle, guard, center, right guard, right tackle with their back to the line of scrimmage. Skill guys are going to form that other half of the circle on the other side away from the line of scrimmage with the quarterback's back always to the sideline. So if he runs to the sideline to retrieve the offensive call or if it's off a wristband, um, that's how you want it. You want your quarterback able to communicate with the sideline. So here's just a pro style huddle, just another style, same thing. Say it to the right side, say it to the left side with a ready break and you're ready to go.